You were once an atheist? Oh yeah. The, how did, what, and can you, I mean, that's, I didn't know that. That's, yeah. I mean, like everybody, it was kind of a supernatural change. <laughs> it was funny because this morning you were talking to Kyle and he was saying that he was 11 and uh, God spoke to him and mm -hmm. he said, you will be a priest and all these coincidences corresponded. And he said it freaked him out. It right. really did. Yeah. Uh, I can, you, can, I can you best, share if you don't want to? I understand. I can be, best relate to the story of Paul in scripture. Paul was persecuting the church. He, was a, he wasn't an atheist, he was Jewish, but he was against the, the new way, the Christian beginnings. And so he was persecuting the church and he was struck down by Jesus on his way traveling somewhere. And from that time on, he became a follower of Jesus Christ and, and basically was the champion of Christianity throughout the New Testament. It, and it was just a supernatural event. We, we don't have any real explanation. I don't have any explanation for my change. It was just this, it was just an inter, it's a, it's like one day I was praying and I believed. It's impossible to describe. It's kind of like if you were born, this is maybe a bad analogy, and I don't mean it to be an insulting analogy, but if somebody was born blind and you were trying to describe to them what it meant to be able to see, it would be incomprehensible to them. It would be very difficult for them to appreciate what seeing is. And so, and again, I don't mean this in an insulting way, but for me to become born again is something I can barely explain or understand. And it's incredibly difficult for me to describe to somebody, but I am now convinced and convicted that there is a God in heaven and that Jesus Christ, his son, died for me and I am a Christian, I'm born again. Was it a specific moment? Like were you born again? For me, it was a specific moment. I was alone in a, in a house in Brainerd, Minnesota in January. It was 40 below, below zero outside, and I was away from home, and I, was, I had just transferred to, take, to accept a job in Minnesota. And um, I prayed to God, if, if he's real, to reveal himself to me, and it happened. I, I can't describe it any better than that. But I don't, it's kind of like I can't give you the formula for her in, in it or anything. I wish someone could. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I have an experience, but you're describing, but I have read enough to understand the, the reality of it, which I think it's very hard for those who have never experienced it to accept and to not unfairly, unjustly dismiss sure. these experiences. And I think that's one of the fundamental um, disconnects yeah. between, between... It is. And I don't know how to fix that one. I don't. There's controversy among Christians about the nature of that disconnect. Some people believe in this concept of election, that God chooses certain people. Other people believe it's a free will decision, um, that you, you hear the gospel and you come to accept it. So even among Christians, theologically, we don't really understand it. But I think part of the dilemma in America is you, people don't get to hear the gospel very much anymore. People don't share uh, the gospel message with other people. And if, there's, if, it is, if election isn't true, if people really do decide, they need information in order to, in or, in order to decide and people aren't getting information. Uh, we tend to be isolated in our worldview friend, friendships. So um, if you're a university professor and you're working every day at a university and all of your friends are atheists and none of them are Christians and you never come in contact with a Christian, how would you ever hear the gospel message so that you could consider it? That's, that's one of the terrible things about this worldview dilemma is how separated we are from other pockets of people. And so a, a film like this can be a great thing if it can bring to people the idea that they should stretch themselves, that they should consider other, other circles of friends and other experiences.